took a road trip today. My name is Jessica Tatro with Pleasant View Gardens and usually you see me out in the greenhouses or over at our display gardens. We decided to take a road trip today. We are over at Leaf Farms, also in Loudoun, New Hampshire, and Leaf Farms was started a few years ago. It is a sister company to Pleasant View Gardens and they grow baby greens in a state-of-the-art facility with a hydroponic system and produce baby greens year-round. The whole goal was to provide farm fresh produce to the New England area. Just like the motto says, fresh is right here. So getting the best fresh product into our New England area. So I am so excited to be able to take a tour of this facility today, show you everything that they do that makes it state-of-the-art. So come along with me as we take a tour inside. And our tour guide today is going to be DJ Grand Mason. He is the sales and marketing manager for Leaf Farms. Come on in with us. Good morning. Hey Jessica, welcome to the farm. Thank you so much for having us Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So excited to, to take a tour and to be able to show everyone what we do over here. That's great. Let's get going. Awesome. Ladies first. Thank you so much. Thank Always you. the gentleman. Right here, we're at the end and the beginning of our process. On this side, we have all of our greens that have been harvested. We have the roots and the soilless media left over. We need to clean these gutters and get them ready for seeding. So can you show me what it's doing right here? Sure, right now it's going into our cleaning machine. These gutters have a, la a layer of roots and soil that we need to blow out. So over here, there's a power washer that actually removes all of this for us so it becomes a clean gutter. These roots will then go up our conveyor system and we'll collect them outside of our greenhouse so we can put them in a compost pile. That's awesome, so there's no waste in the system. No waste in the system whatsoever. And then what's next over here? So as we pivot to this side, you can see that our, our washing machine has done a really good job. And over here we have nice clean gutters that are ready to have soilless media put in them and then they're gonna be seeded next. So we have these clean gutters and we need to now fill them with soilless media to create that seed bed for the seeds that we're gonna be planting in the next step. And so right now, what you see is gutters coming through this machine behind us. And there's an upper le level and a lower level, and that upper level is where the soil goes. So right behind us, you can see the wheels are coming down and compressing the soil to make, make that nice firm seed bed. Awesome. And how does this media differ from um, some of the other hydroponic systems? Yeah, so a lot of hydroponics typically use uh, rock wool in their grow as their growing medium. And here at the farm, we made the conscious decision to use, use peat moss. And so peat moss is great for us because at the end of the cycle, what we saw over at the washing machine, we can actually take this medium and compost it. So again, there's no waste uh, and we don't have to throw any rock wool away. Part of our thinking here at the farm is we want really uh, diverse mix of blends. And so we grow lots of different varieties of greens at the farm. And so because we grow so many different varieties, we have a lot of different cedars that can actually plant different types of seed. And so we have a belt seeder, a needle seeder, and then some disc seeders. And right now our disc seeder is working and it's actually precisely dropping the seed exactly where we want it in the gutter. And once the, once the gutters are seeded, whatever variety it might be, it then goes to a, a, a station where it gets watered and then it goes out to our greenhouse where it will be germinated. That's great. No, it's not great, you won't map anymore. <laughs> We had uh, three different seating lines that we looked at, and then we mentioned that the gutters would come out to the greenhouse. So where do the gutters go when they come out here? Yeah, so as you mentioned, all these gutters got to go somewhere, right? So they're coming out the seating room where we were, and underneath this top row here, they're about a third of the way down the greenhouse, there's gutters underneath here. And why do you put them underneath? Because it's nice and dark, and it has a lot of water, and it's, a, it's really warm. From the time come underneath until the time they come to the upper chamber where they get all this nice sun uh, is about two days. So they spend two days underneath germinating and then they come up on top and from here to the end it's about 14 days of growing. That's a really fast cycle. Very, very fast. How do you get them to grow so fast? So this whole greenhouse uh, was designed essentially to create a very efficient growing environment 
to optimize the conditions so lettuce can grow and be very happy. And so with uh, the lighting we have in here and the heating and cooling um, and the precision of how we water, it allows the lettuce to live in a very happy environment and it rapidly grows. So I know we're up here in New Hampshire. We're up in the Northeast. It's very dark in the winter time. And I know lettuce needs a lot of light to grow. So how do you um, account for that? Sure, so, so that we're, some days we're really fortunate, like today it's really bright and sunny in here, so we're not doing much lighting at all, right? Other days when it's really dark, uh, we have supplemental lighting above us, we have lights throughout the whole entire greenhouse to, to replicate the amount of sunlight we'd get on a nice bright sunny day like today. Awesome, and then I see we have some um, pads over here, can you tell us what's going on with that? Sure, even on a, on a really cold day in, in say November or December, um, when the sun comes out, it creates a lot of energy in the greenhouse and we get this huge ramp of, of heat. We still actually have to cool in the wintertime. And so we have, we have an ability to actually bring in nice cold air into the greenhouse to create that perfect temperature in here. And so we, need, we even need cooling in the winter. Um, and, and especially in the summer, we need that cooling to happen when it's really hot out. Um, and so we have, we have cooling and then we also have heating, both in ground and above to create that perfect environment as we talked about earlier. Now over at our um, pleasant bean facilities, we use biomass and wood chips. What do you guys use over here? We actually use really efficient natural gas burners uh, and those allow us to maximize the energy from natural gas and to heat this greenhouse year round. Uh, the greatest part about this is we can actually extract the CO2 from the heating system and use it in the winter time uh, to help these plants grow even more efficiently. And what temperature are you trying to keep in here? So lettuce ideally loves that 75 to 70, 75 degree range. So in the greenhouse, we try to keep it between that range. Awesome. So I'm from Florida, so I feel nice and uncomfortable <laughs> in here. You're probably melting a little bit. <laughs> Being a native New Englander, this is a bit warm, but we enjoy it, especially awesome. in the winter. The slow season right now, we're just getting ready to ramp up and there's not a lot of, of green on the greenhouse, so it's really nice to see this carpet out here. That's great, and hopefully we can take a walk down the greenhouse and you can see as the greens grow, you can see day by day their growth. Uh, it's really amazing in here. It's a stark difference between day one and day two and three and four and five. And back here behind me, what is going on here with this? So in a hydroponic system, we're taking a, a really dense, nutrient-rich solution and we're actually supplying it underneath this soilless uh, media where the root system is and that water is traveling down through the gutter over the roots and the roots are actually absorbing that nutrient rich solution making it a completely hydroponic system. And I noticed these just shut off so it's on a pulse system? That's right, it cycles through throughout the day. It goes on and off all day long and it, the, the idea is to keep the roots really happy and, and always have a high level of moisture around those roots so they don't dry out. And then the water drains on the other end? Exactly, so we collect the water on the other side and it actually goes through a whole filtration system where we capture that water and we actually pipe back in the specific amount of nutrients we need that the plants took out in the first place. So, so it's again, very efficient. So again, a no waste system. No waste system and it's very, very smart technology. And I see something familiar up here. We use a lot of irrigation booms over at Pleasant View for our propagation. Why do you have these over here? Sure, during this first couple days on the upper level where it's growing, uh, on the upper level, this first couple days are still really small. So the roots haven't completely penetrated to the bottom. So they're getting their moisture from the soil right now. And so for the first couple days, we have to supplement with an overhead watering system that just gives them an extra boost of water so the plants still stay happy and keep growing strong. So it's the same thing like we do when we're propagating our liners. You gotta kind of wean them off of that. Exactly. And get them used to their greenhouse environment. That's right, exactly. Big step. Thank you. <laughs> it's so Florida nice, I love it. <laughs> So as we're walking down this aisle, I noticed that when we first started, the gutters were nice and tight with each other, but now we've got some gaps between them. Why, are you, why is that? So we really want to optimize every square inch in this greenhouse, right? So when they're really little and they're just germinating, they don't need as much space. But as they get bigger and more mature, they need more room to grow, right? And so we, the system is so intelligent that it can actually start to space itself throughout the greenhouse. There's another advantage down here too. You can see the gutters are, are, are about three inches on center apart. But if you look down below, you can actually see some um, translucent tubes. Yep. We talked earlier about capturing that CO2 and in the winter time, a majority of the time the greenhouse is really closed up so that CO2 gets depleted by the plants. We can actually pipe that CO2 in here and actually helps with photosynthesis and increase our overall harvest that we have. So, so it, it's really 
sustainable because it reduces our carbon emissions, right? But it's also really beneficial for the plants because it helps with that photosynthesis. Yep, the things that drive photosynthesis, lights and CO2. Exactly. So here we are, it looks like we're getting close to harvest and I'd like to go over just a, a few fun facts about this place. So how big is it undercover? So we have about one acre worth undercover here. So about 50,000 square feet. Anyone can grow lettuce, right? But what we want to do is create some really high-end blends that have a lot of different varieties in them, have a lot of personality, and so we grow about 15 different varieties of greens. And how many different mixes do you make out of that? Yep, we have four blends. And the, your favorite? My favorite has to be spice. And what's in that one? Or what are some of the different types of greens that you grow here? Sure, so spice has a really crunchy green leaf. Uh, it has a arugula and red mustard, which gives it a nice peppery flavor. And then it has a mizuna and um, pak choy, which give it a nice kind of crispiness to it. And so it has this great balance of sweet greens with a nice kind of peppery blend in there too. Awesome. And so at this stage, just refresh my memory again, this is about 14 days from seeding? Yeah, so on average, the varieties from, from seeding to harvest is about 14 to 16 days. That is a very fast crop cycle. Absolutely. Just for comparison, what is the crop time required to get a head of lettuce? Yep, so a head of lettuce, you're going to be looking anywhere from 45 to 60 days, depending on your system you're using. So that's quite a big difference. A very big difference, yes. The way our system works is we have to create these sophisticated blends. So our spice blend has eight varieties, our smooth blend has 10 varieties. And so what we're trying to do here is our, our harvesting team is going grocery shopping. They have to pick the varieties for that blend. And so you'll see, you'll see that there's lots and lots of gutters coming down from different rows, right? So this blend that we're doing now is our smooth blend. So you see a green leaf, the Annapolis will be coming out. We have some tango coming out which is a, a green leaf lettuce, and then pak choy and mizuna on the other end of the greenhouse. And so we have to get all these gutters in a set into the cooler to harvest so that we can blend them into a perfect blend for our, our customers. Awesome, I can't wait to see that next step. Awesome. Can you take me there? Absolutely. So I noticed on the tour today that there is so much automation around here, and then when we get out into the greenhouse, there's really no workers out here, just a few people checking the systems. What does that mean? Yeah, that's, that's paramount at the farm for us to have no human contact means we have a higher level of food safety for our customers. So these are never touched until I take them out of the container to make my salad at home? That's absolutely right. You're the first person to touch our greens. Awesome. And what else do you do out here to ensure food safety? Do you use any chemicals or pesticides? We are, our farm is committed to zero pesticides. We, we don't use any pesticides at all. And uh, the kind of the trick to that is growing them as fast as we do so there's no bugs. And do you use any beneficial insects? Because we use that over at our um, yeah, so, so we will, we absolutely will integrate beneficial insects into the system, so um, those beneficial insects will become predators and go after the bad bugs. This is quite a cool system. It's pretty neat. So in here you see that we have all these lines, and each line there will be a row of greens that we're harvesting in the greenhouse, and the idea is to make basically a green sandwich. You want each variety of green layered on top of each other, and they're going to be actually tumbling over each other as they go up the conveyor belt and into our scale. And where is these all cut? There's actually a mechanism in the back that actually harvests them and lays them gently on a conveyor belt system that brings them to this line. What mix are they doing right now? Right now it's actually our blend that's exclusive to Stop and Shop in Hannaford, and it's our crisp blend. And you harvest every single day of the year? We harvest every single day of the year. Non-stop. Well, hopefully they get a vacation, <laughs> but yes, every day. And now I also noticed that you have two different Gotcha. So we, um, we, we sell both to restaurants throughout New England and we also sell to a lot of retailers. So we have a retail pack and we have a food service pack. So as you can see, automation is our key to success. So right now our product is being weighed and it's coming down this conveyor belt and the product's actually being dropped into our retail pack here. Four ounces per clamshell. The pack is now going through the whole assembly line where it's going to be closed, labeled, and packed. DJ, thank you so much for the wonderful tour today. You're welcome. This is really a fascinating process to be able to see everything and see how much translates from here actually over to how we do some of our growing processes. Absolutely. So, 
Thank you for the samples. You're welcome. I'm looking forward to taking these home. And I have a daughter at home who is going to be loving me tonight. This is her favorite lettuce in the whole Wonderful. World. Well, I'm giving you a lot, so make sure to share with people. I'll share. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Have a good one. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha.